2019 was a year of rebuilding for Red Bull Racing, with the energy drinks brand embarking on a new power unit partnership with Honda. A brave move given the Japanese manufacturer's previous nightmare collaboration with McLaren, though risk was minimized via a year spent with Red Bull B team Alpha Tauri, then Toro Rosso. But the decision paid off with wins in Austria, Germany, and in Brazil. Its second straight at Spielberg's Red Bull Ring, a milestone result. One that had Honda engineers crying in the F1 pit lane. It's a performance curve that star driver Max Verstappen reflected on post-season. One that suggested an even stronger 2020. I think um, in the beginning, yeah, it was a bit of a struggle. We could not really fight for, for victories, really, in real podiums. It was also quite hard. So it was all about just trying to be as consistent as we could be. Um, so yeah, we just hope that um, yeah, we can be more competitive next year. And while Red Bull will likely be a favorite in F1's next reset, coming in 2021, given the technical team at Milton Keynes, including the legendary Adrian Newey, 10 world championship winning cars to his name, 2020 is a chance to consolidate and present a consistent challenge to the Silver Arrows, putting it in contention for a title fight. And the RB16 looks the part, with the squad's challenger unveiled during a filming day at Silverstone last week. Well, we had a great debut season with Honda and the partnership has only got stronger and stronger and it's been a really positive winter. The effort that's gone in behind the scenes has been truly impressive and uh, uh, I think you know further steps have been made on the power unit front and on the chassis side so uh, and the, the, the integration of the power unit fully into the car now uh, is really a, a work of art. The new Charger is an evolution of its predecessor with improvements to be seen on the front wing, nose, suspension, and side pods. Honda is also throwing everything at the project pushing forward. With the RB16 fired up, Verstappen gave it a shakedown, ahead of this week's first preseason test in Barcelona. And his first assessment was a positive one, despite the short run. The target, I think, for the whole team is we want to fight for the championship um, and do better than last year and be there from, from the first race onwards because that's uh, already where you have to start to perform. And I think, yeah, we are on a good way. The team was, is very motivated, worked very hard over the winter as well. So I just can't wait to get started. The Dutchman's teammate, Alex Albon, watched on, soaking up everything about his all new wheels. With 2020, an absolutely critical campaign for the anglo Thai racer to establish himself in his first full campaign with the squad. I know what I want to work on, and I know working on them things. Um, of course, short run pace would be one of them, and, and there, there are a few other things in there. So uh, just working at it one by one, um, that will give me a result at the end of the year. Albon has a mountain to climb in ensuring he keeps up with Verstappen across an entire campaign. But he performed impressively from his debut with the squad in Belgium last year. Albon outqualified Verstappen once in the last nine races, but started in the top six six times and matched his time in Japan. In races, it was 2-4 when they could be compared. In points, it was close, 76 to 97. But all eyes will be on Barcelona this week as we look at the pace and, importantly, reliability of Red Bull's newest challenger with expectations rising on it being a prized title fighter. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.